largest voting bloc in the United States are the believers. The faith community is the largest voting bloc. And what is amazing to think is that the choice is in our hands. We get to make the decision about whether or not we will have leadership. We're unlike other nations in that we get to choose who our leaders will be. And will those leaders reflect the values, the biblical moral values that we know are truth? Or will we choose to allow truth to be poured out in the street? Because there is a certainty that will follow. Either one of these choices, a certainty will follow. And that's why I think that's what we need to remember. It is urgent. We won't have necessarily this option four years from now, eight years from now, 12 years from now. But we have an opportunity right now. And I know that I'm dedicated every single day until the day of the election to speak truth anywhere that I can speak truth and also to share from one who was on the front line in Washington, D.C., the urgency of what's at stake. So we've got to get our act together fast and in a way that's going to glorify a holy God. And that's what we need to remember. Jeremiah taught of the temple that the law of the temple is absolute holiness. Absolute holiness. That's what as believers is Jesus, in Jesus Christ that we have to remember. It is a holy God that we obey. And when we obey him, we receive his blessing in our land. And let's embrace that now.